Hey guys, Robert here, and welcome to a brand new lesson of Pro Teachers Doom. Returning once again is Bianca. Hello, I'm 100 now. <laughs> no, you're not. You don't know. <laughs> well, you are a werewolf, so who knows? Yeah. But yeah, today we've got a part one of a two-part lesson. As we go over Kurt Busiek's, um, I don't know what you would call them, so I'll just simply say the duology of Superman and Batman with Secret Origin and Secret Identity and Creature of the Night. Both of the, uh, basically to summarize um, these, they're what if Superman and Batman have been gained their powers or their abilities or their, some, in the case of Batman, something else altogether in the real world. Wait. Do I have Creature of the Night? Uh, hold on. I think there was, I don't know if there's a, I may have gotten like the first issue ah, when it first came out, but I never pre- read it. prestige format? <laughs> I don't know. I got to go check it out. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that in the next, in the next video. But for this one, we're going to be dealing with, like I said, Secret Identity. Um, neither one, neither one of these exists in the same universe. They're both separate worlds, but they both have that similar theme. Okay. So shall we? And mm-hmm. these are. This is also, especially for Superman, considered one of the best Superman stories. Period. Like every other story. I'm just kidding. All right, we've been hitting it good, pretty. We got in some pretty good hits so far, haven't we? Yeah, I think so. So let's dive in. Okay, come on. There we go. Upward, leap Superman as we get a little bit of this golden age style. Clark! Clark! Yeah, the thing is, is that we find out in this whole case, um, let me rephrase it. That's my family for you, that hearty, great plain sense of humor. The whole family got it. Take my folks, for instance. My dad and mom are named David and Laura Kent. They live in a small town in Kansas. So when I came along, baby boy, dark hair, regular features, well, they just nat- nat- well, just naturally they named me Clark. Oh, I actually have a question. Yeah. So, like, I see this a lot of time in comic books where you have, like, two different stuff where you read. Like, over here, you got the crumbled pieces of paper, and then you have the, the speech bubbles. Is there mm-hmm. a particular one you read first, or it, it mean- doesn't matter? Whoa, 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 wait. Oh, whoops. I oh, where are you going? <laughs> no, this isn't right. That's not Hold on. What's going on here? Okay, that was weird. That was not the first page. And you saw what the first page was. That was not it. Yeah. There we go. Um, what do you mean? Like, when, oh, basically, you could do eyes or or in this case, because that's just his narrations over it all. Okay. Okay, thank you. There is a case where you could do eyes or one, because this is just like fluff dialogue and this is his near like what's happening in the moment that's what he's thinking it's not like i haven't tried to tell him that it was that it really isn't really funny but it never was okay yeah let me go back Heck, um but they don't get it my dad thinks it'd be neat to have a famous name my mom thinks it's fun that there were all, there are all these toys and things all about me but they're not about me are they and it's not like i can oh, hold on one second <laughs> Sorry about that. Did you hear anything? Hello? I heard. Did you hear? (laughs) Okay, good, good. If it's muffled, I don't have to edit things. All right. Anyway. He's going to jail, guys. No, no. No, but I found out what's up in my ceiling, and it's not rats. It's chipmunks. Aw. Kill them all. Burn them with fire. (laughs) Ah! (laughs) Anyway, but it's not like I can tell my relatives. Hey, Aunt Sally, you know all those Superman action figures you've been giving me every single year? Didn't want them. Don't like them. But, you know, thanks for the thoughts. So I just smile and say, thanks. And I take the books and the T-shirts and the toys. And when it's over, 
I just put him with all the others and forget about um. Yeah, yeah he must have been a Batman fan. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, first of all, look at this. Remember the old talk boy from Home Alone Two? Oh, is that what those are called? I thought those were just uh... no, 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 that particular shaped one. That was the talk boy. Oh, I I just called them recorders. Well, they are general recorders, but that particular one was the talk boy from Home Alone Two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, but can, well, look, can you blame him? Basically, his parents. Let's be honest. They meant well, but it was a dickish thing to do. And it ends up being something that would follow him throughout everything. That, yeah, he's Clark Kent. I, I like, I would totally understand that. That would be super annoying, especially for them to, like, keep going until, like, high school years. Like, Oh, and it, when... trust me, wait until you see more. I just wish it was easy to forget about the rest of it. I mean, most of my life isn't so bad. My folks are all right. Their lamentable sense of humor aside. And I like Kansas. It's pretty out here. And there's a, there's fishing and hiking and stuff. And the library's good. Not like I was ever expecting to... And it's not like I was ever expecting to be able to fly or bounce bullets off my chest. It's just, if I envy Superman anything, it's not the power so much. It's Pete Ross and Lana Lang. Hey, Cassie. Morning, Clark. You know, I could practically set my watch by you. I guess I just leave the house at the right time to catch you. Lucky me. I mean, he had a secret identity. Nobody knew he was Superboy, so he had friends. Up until forever studying for I mean, up until forever studying the world CIV test. I know. Uh, uh, look, Cassie, I was wondering if you were like, uh oh, nobody messed with Superboy for being called Clark Kent. Why would they? What you got there, Superboy? Loose his secret plans, schematics for Metallo. Come on, Kent, come take him back. Oh, what's the matter? Can't fly? No problem. You can just pick it all up at super speed. So mostly I just envy him being able to have a normal life. But sometimes, just sometimes. Like, uh, Clark, I've got Richardson, first period. I've got, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, sometimes I wish I had the powers. What assholes! <laughs> but again, you see, this is the, the downside of having that type of, you know... He has a good point, doesn't he? It's like, yeah, nobody mocks Superboy for being called Clark Kent. Why would they? Clark's normal in that world. I understand. Hey, Ken, settle up that. The original Titans, were they just Robin, Aqualad, and Kid Flash? Or does Wonder Girl count? What? I have no idea. How would I know? Okay, never mind. They didn't look past the name. Uh, yeah, even the geeks, you know, would make fun of him. <laughs> How low is it? You have to you be making the geeks are making fun of you. <laughs> yeah, they didn't look past the name either. Nobody looked past the name. So sometimes I want to scream and yell and throw tables and cars around and hit people. Instead, I just come out here and type on this old manual of my dad's. Mild matter me. So and when I first I Oh, is that how you say it? I say tuck 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 I go <laughs> when I first started coming out here, my dad ca and called it my fortress of solitude, and I didn't come near it again for a month and a half. Whoops. <laughs> again, you don't blame him, can you? Yeah, yeah, poor me. Wine, wine, wine. So I'm not going to grow up in holding Copfield or anything. Can't see that happening. I'm just not the type. So when I get too fed up with it, I take off for the Smoky Hills and spend the weekend hiking. It's close enough to bicycle too, and far enough away to leave everything else behind. So it's just me. So it's just me. I don't even. I don't even bring this typewriter or even a notebook, and it's good. Just me alone. Hold on. When it's not freezing, I don't even bother with the tent. I just lay there so I can look up at the star, the stars, and think about how big the universe is. All those stars, all that space. And it's uh, and how small the Earth is, lost in all of that. How small the Earth is, and how much smaller Kansas and Pickettsville and me. And it's all so small. So how can any any of it be important? How can any of it be worth getting bent out of shape over? Anyway, it was one of the, uh, it was on one of those hikes that I had the dream. I have it every now and then, an anxiety dream or something. But it's usually it's not usually that bad. Everyone pulling at me, poking at me, laughing, and I'm all tangled up. I can't get away. Can't get move. It was just my, in my sleeping bag, though. I got to all snarled up in it while sleeping. Only, 
Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's blue and he's wearing a red cape. <laughs> well, red sleeping bag. But then what does he do? He flies. He's like, I must have pinched myself a million times. But it was true. I didn't know how. I didn't much care. But I had the power powers. I had Superman's powers. I could fly. I could see all the way to Wichita, even farther, if I wanted. I could hear the tiniest sounds, owls beating their wings, a brook rippling 20 miles away. I was fast. I could change direction like a hummingbird. Even when I was like a mile up, I wasn't cold. And I was flying. Flying! <laughs> see what I mean by the artwork? Yes, I love it. Yeah. Is it painted? Uh, I don't, I don't know. And the powers didn't go away. All weekend I flew. I only uprooted one tree, though. It seemed rude. But in school, in case you're wondering, yes, X-ray vision does work on the girls' locker room. But I stopped quick. It didn't hurt anyone in the comics, but I didn't know if it worked that way in the real world. Fair point. I had other stuff to think about anyway. Once I was back... Once I was around other people, it started to feel real. I got a little worried. What did, and what did it mean? Where did the powers come from? Who am I really? What's happened if all, if other people find out? Hey, Superboy, think we hey! What'd you do? Kent, hmm? What do you mean, Mike? I was just walking. The look on his face was great. And maybe next time I'd let him hit me. Hey, though, it's not like it hurt, and I wasn't ready to, and wasn't ready to let anyone know. My mind was buzzing. Too much to think about. On the weekend, I could go get away and get away. Anywhere, it seemed. I flew to Mount Sunflower, Flower, the Rockies, even. And I was thinking about flying up to Montana and Canada. Uh, um, but the best part, I think, was being free. Being be nice. Able, yeah. Yeah, uh, being free. Being here. able to be myself. Even if I didn't know who that really it was, really. But up on the peaks, it didn't really matter. I was me. I could do the stuff. How and why wasn't that important. It was back home. Uh, it was when I, I was back home, though. That's when it seemed important. And uh, Mom, you got a minute? Sure, Clark. What's up? J and just something we were talking about at school, I guess. If someone was, you know, adopted, do you think they deserve to know about it? Or would it be okay for the folks to keep it to them and f from them? You know? I used to think I was adopted. I used to dream I was a lost princess being raped by people I clearly had nothing in common with. And one day, <laughs> my real parents would show up again and sweep me away. But, well, they never did. I don't know, Clark. I love my parents. I love my brothers. If I was adopted, I'm not sure I'd want to know. Not, uh, not really what's important, Clark. This isn't from school. I, I, I know. You're feeling isolated, feeling different. But everyone feels that way, especially at your age. What you need, Clark, is a few friends. You think they're all looking at you, seeing someone weird, but they aren't. Just be yourself, Clark. Be yourself and reach out a little. You'd be surprised how well it works. I like his parents, don't you? They're so sweet. And they feel real, don't they? I mean, look, his mom's a mechanic. Oh, you don't think about subverting that. expectations. <laughs> I didn't get many answers. Were they ducking the question, or did they not know anything about me either? Is that even possible? Could I have grown up like this, a mutant, an alien, whatever, without them knowing anything was out of the ordinary? I didn't know. I didn't know how to find Maybe read the answer. comics and find out, you geek. <laughs> no, well, no. To be fair, the comics didn't give an answer in the answers. Well, he's only reading from the 40s, isn't he? Eh, they're about. But even then, though, it's not. it doesn't have the answers. Trust me. There, there, it, there will be an answer... But no, nah, it's not. It's going to be brushed over because that's not the main point of the story. Uh, Sorry, uh, I had a burp. So uh, uh, it is <laughs> right. Lunch hours, free periods. It's easier to think up there, not to come up with any answers, just to think. Up here, I didn't have any worries, any questions. Nothing affected me. Holy cow! At least that's what I thought. It had been all over the news all day, but I hadn't been paying attention, so I hadn't heard. Too much snow in the Rockies that winter. Too much rain. Uh, rain. Then too much sun all at once. Too much it's melt. Too fast. And the Arkansas River burst its banks, flooding Hope Field a few miles from home. From above, it was quiet. It looked peaceful, almost tranquil. But I knew it wasn't. I focused my hearing downward. 
National Guard on its way. Worry, Mr. Mrs. Anderson, we'll be all right. And are these damn and damn sandbags and are those damn sandbags all throttled at breaking through? It's evacuation efforts continue here in this sleepy Kansas. John, you look like I, I like a drown be, and be okay, kid. You just sit tight, Ann. But I shut it out again. No way I can make sense of all that. Things look to be pretty well under control. Most people had enough warning to get out, and those who were stuck, the rescue boats were taking care of them. I was switching to another cloud bank to get a view when I saw, hey, this is, and this is, oh my God, thank God, the car is moving. Oh God, not a few seconds and he'd have been washed into the river. There was nobody close to him. I couldn't let him die. <sighs> Whoa, I knew it'd be weird. What a big gust of wind blew them to the high ground. So I figured if I moved fast enough, no one could see me. I guess I was wrong. Well, can you beat that? Dave, that kid over in Hopefield. People are saying he was saved by a flying man. Sure, Elvis most likely. <laughs> so okay, he sa she says, drop the boy on the hill, angled in the air, and off he soared. Boy and says it felt like he was carried, but not by a full-grown man, a teenager maybe. It was weird hearing people guess at it, trying to figure out what happened when I knew. I didn't know whether I wanted to die down or wanted them to keep talking. Again, I love this, don't you? It just... Doesn't this feel so real? Yes, as real as Elvis. <laughs> okay, seriously. <laughs> but yeah, basically, then, we, of course, you have the men in black showing up. What? Well, not literally the men in black, but they're talking around like, I don't know, sorry, never saw anything. You should talk to my dad. He says it's Elvis, the young skinny one, not the old fat one. Aww. They could have. Uh, they could have used the blue thingies to erase everybody's memories. <laughs> oh man, if I could fly, only I could fly. You wouldn't see me anywhere near here. I'd be in New York, London, China. I'd be playing pro basketball, nuggets all the way down. Talk about a Why slam dunk. Why China? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, no, that's where he would be in. No, it's like in any. Oh, be in. Okay, yeah. not places you want to visit. <laughs> right. Looks like you got some competition. I guess it made sense. With a real Superboy in the news, it made having me around that much funnier. Oops, where'd those super free reflexes, Kent? And a real laugh riot. Hey, almost flew that time. You're getting there. I rolled with it, though. Not like it hurt me, right? I'm in Barnable. They can't hurt me at all. Clark, are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. She felt sorry for me. Sorry. All the stuff I can do, the powers I have, and she... But she doesn't know about that. None of them do. I don't stand up for myself. Don't tell them because I'm too, too, I'm too scared. I just don't know what I'm scared of. God, I need some answers. I need to know what I am. I need to know what it means. I need to know. I had to talk to someone, had to ask questions. So I found someone, someone I'd never met, someone who wouldn't recognize me. The reporter who first wrote the story, Wendy Case, she'd been trying to figure out who I was too, where I came from. Maybe she knew something I didn't. Of course, I didn't want her to really find out, but that's where superpowers come in handy. Hmm? I could see her just fine, but what is... Oh, hi. I need to talk to you. Uh, of course, of course. Can I a uh, tape recorder? Can I record this? No. I don't want my voice on tape. No cameras either. Just take notes if you want. I asked my questions if she found, any, found anything that would tell me from where I came from, if there was anyone else like me, what I what I should do, what happens next. She said she'd try to find answers for me, but she wants something in return. Oh, man, did you see this? Yeah, basically, yeah, he gets a news story to everything. Interesting, Kent? Maybe it's your long loss of her other half. You could team up. You could be the big hero while you stay the loser. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mike, whatever. Whatever. He doesn't bother me as much anymore. Well, he tries, but I don't care. I'm not spending so much time on mountaintops anymore. Not now. Not when I might have some answers soon. Getting somewhere, but it's, but it's hard not being able to talk to your family, check your history like that. My paper would like to make an offer. We'll handle your announcement, your debut. We'll present you to the world. We'll take care of everything. All the arrangements, security, handling, the rest of the press. Just and uh, just from the book deals and talk shows alone, you'd be set for life. 
when, and wouldn't you like to buy your folks their dream house, drive the coolest car? You could even meet the president, and then we'll all be better all, and able to help you do some real informed research, find out who you are. I didn't say yes, but I'm thinking about it. Buy mom and dad a house? That'd be cool. Maybe the other kids were right. Maybe not Brian. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was the dopey basketball thing, but I wouldn't want to be on TV. Uh, but who wouldn't want to be on TV? Be rich and famous? The press is nuts for me. Every time one of Miss Case's interviews comes out, it gets run all over the country. And Joan in San Diego called. Even she saw it. Everyone wants to talk to me. Or if they can't get me, Miss Case. A good kid, Regis. That's how I describe him. He's very considerate, level-headed, the sort of sound a son any parent would be proud to have. But she needs more, she says. Without the story, the paper won't back her research. And without something new to tell people, there's no story. Okay, I'll give her something new. The Sonic Boom was probably a mistake. I didn't mean to go that fast. I was just playing the Buzz Main Street, not break every window in five blocks. But that... And what I did was all of Miss Case's competitors' cars, her suggestion, but it was pretty funny. I think that did the trick. <laughs> <laughs> I can see all the autographs. Uh, I know. Miss Case had and had us meeting all over the place. I was always changing hotels or meeting in a warehouse or something. She doesn't want anyone to figure out blowing my cover before I'm ready. Anyway, I was about to tell her I've decided. What? Low ride operation, great picture quality, even at night. Of all the crummy, underhanded, I told you no pictures. I'm sorry. I know I said I wouldn't, but I really didn't mean any. I what did you take the picture? What? No, it was a record. It was a camera. Oh, I was gonna say like, wouldn't you have heard the click click? No, it was the red light. Oh. I, I trusted you, Miss Case. I thought you were on my side. Wait! I'm really sorry. I promise I'll never... Uh, maybe I'll come back. No, wait, please don't go. It was for the research, that's all. Just the research. Just just to help find out where you came from, who you are. She sounded so scared. I can't figure out why. It was, it was, me, it was me she almost exposed, right? Me she was trying to get a picture of, even though she promised not to anyone should be scared it should be me right i stayed away for a few days just to think did a lot of flying trying to think clearly get some perspective it was all coming together i could feel it it was like there was electricity in the air or a storm coming and i guess i was lost in thought thinking about being able to give mom and dad anything they ever wanted because huh i don't know if they were military or if the news networks rented them or something else i don't know if they got a picture of me I don't think so, though. I booked pretty fast. But it wasn't much longer. I'm done hiding. I'm done worrying about stupid, pointless stuff. I have Superman powers. What to be scared of? One way or the other, I'm going to do this. With or without? In with Smith's case or without her? No, no, don't worry. I'll get him. No, don't tell the network that. Don't. I'll do this. I'll deliver it just like I promised. Tell them. If it's not them, it'll be CBS. Tell them. And tell them loud. Oh, crap. Man, they said CBS. How do I look? Oh, my. You look... Well, that's not the question I'd have expected. We were starting to think it bugged you. The whole Superman thing, I mean. That we shouldn't have named you Clark. <laughs> that. Don't worry about it. You're going down to the festival? That's new. I figured it'll... Uh, I'll just check it out a little. You never know what might happen. I suppose. I took off around the corner where nobody could see me. And all I could think of was, I got a secret. I've got a secret. It was going to change everything. I could hardly stop smiling. So, yeah, while well, he's all there, and yeah, Mitch is a court. Mike is there with the costume and everything. Um, Before, oh, no. So, of course, he flies in there. Um, Turns out it was the gas main that ran below the town. I was frozen, confused. I could hear people screaming, crying, yelling for help. There was more secondary lines going up, and I started moving. Just give you one out all the way, and I'm out of there. And I remember thinking for a second about how this couldn't be a coincidence. Things just don't happen that way, but that didn't seem very important. I listened for anything else. I mean, I'm breathing, a heartbeat, but I saw I had them all. Then I heard a muscle groan. It was by Pete's Dairy Haven. I used my x-ray vision. Cassie! You okay, Cassie? Thank you, thank you so... Clark? And I knew it. This was it. 
this was my big moment. The biggest audience I could ask for. The whole world through all the cameras. And I was all set just and to just heft that beam and toss it aside. No! Get away! Get away! This story, this is my story! I found him! I put him in the papers! You all just followed me! I flushed him out! Here's my ticket to the big time! Mine! My network show! Get away! Just get away! He's mine! I knew right then she'd done all this. Even if I didn't know how, not then. Her face, her, her voice, angry and raw. I really something. It took a while to put into words. She never set out wanting any of this. She's just been a stringer doing it for some extra money, for a hobby. But she looked into a ride, a thrill, and didn't want to get off. She did anything, anything she could have to stay on the ride. If I went public, I grabbed the beam tighter, jabbed it into the ground, carving a trench. Uh, hey, hey, it's tipping. Gazzy, look out, look out. Clark, that's our Superboy. Beam must have been balanced right, but it shifted. Nice shot, though. No, no, it's him, I tell you. It's got to be. It's got to be. Um, someone, someone get this off me. And then they were laughing at me, at me just like always. And the funny part was, I was glad. That was, was she dressed like a cat woman? <laughs> I think so. That was the end of my big debut. All but the cleanup. They found bomb components and windy cases in car. Wires, wrappers, tools. They decided she faked up the whole thing. She was undergoing psychiatric evaluation, but everyone thought she'd be committed, not jailed. Uh, a bunch of people I saved that night said there really was a super eye, but most people thought that was just shock. I don't know. I feel kind of sorry for her. But then, no nobody made her do what she did. I guess in the end, I feel a lot sorry for the people she killed, trying to make me a bigger story. Hey, Kent. Hey, Mike. How's your arm? Ten weeks in this thing. Can you believe it? But it'll be okay. And it was Superboy who got me out. I don't care what they say. But you're the one that saved Ka and Cassie. So thanks, Kent. You're okay. Eh, she'd be fine. I didn't do much. Couldn't breathe, Clark. I'd have suffocated before anyone found me. I don't know how you moved that beam. I couldn't. But sprain ankles healed. Dead doesn't. You're my Superboy, Clark. You always will be. But you know you still look like a dweeb. And that's how it ended. Cassie and Mike, I, I guess that's okay. A lot more people seem to talk to me these days, and I talk back, which helps. I guess Dad was right. Besides, I've got a lot to think about. I've got a lot of questions, and I didn't get any answers. Uh, um, but I've got my whole life to figure them out, and it'll be a private life, which is good. If I'd gone public, the thing is, I like things quiet. I like to get away and think and sort things out for myself, by myself. I don't like noise and crowds and chaos. If I'd gone public... I'd have all the noise and crowds and chaos in the world, and they'd never stop. So I think I like keeping things quiet more than I like having the fame and attention and the fancy cars. It even piles of money. Never mind government guys trying to dissect me if they even would. They think mom and dad would understand about the dream house. So I feel like I turned a corner into a new day, a new something. Dodge the bullet, however you want to put it. And whatever's coming, whatever happens next, for the first time since I can remember, I think... I'm looking forward to it. That's a no-go, sir. Some unusual trace ratings, but nothing we could pin down. Yes, we checked out the Ken boy. Broke his leg when he was six. We saw the x-rays. A chip tooth to usual childhood injuries. Looks like this was a false trail. Yes, sir. Well, keep looking. So, was that bomb planted? Yes. Can it was by... Uh, threw it all that... up to weed him out. That's so bad. Oh, my gosh. He's terrible. She is, but the fact, but even, but it's basically one of those things where it's like she's not full on evil. It's like he said, she was a small timer who just lucked down and couldn't get off the thrill ride. But you know, making a bomb to rats. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Good. She went to desperate measures. <clears throat> Lois, what are you? Ha! Huh, go ahead, Ken. Just try to resolve all of it. I proved it once and for all. Clark Kent is Superman. That's all she could have done. <laughs> just <sticking laughs> uh -huh, guys, down. very funny. When I was six. Oh, no, the Metropolis Marvel is enraged. Here is Heat Fish at his super breast. Oh, most definitely his super breast. But, yeah, basically he's now, he is being a writer still because he actually got it. You'd think the present-day staff would, uh, I think I'm getting settled in, getting used to Manhattan. I like it here, and I love the job. I'm actually working at the New Yorker. The New Yorker, legacy of E.B. White, of Harold Ross, of James Truber. 
you think that present day staff would be have a little more literary sense of humor than Clark Kent Superman gags though. Still, it's a lot fresher to them to them than to me. And they're slowing down. They'll get used to it. But the thing is, they're not far wrong. It was just and it was just last night. The plane was a corporate jet. The Airbus ATJ. The paper said it had been skating by with barely any maintenance checks. They lost an engine. Hell, they practically lost a wing. And the airframe was damaged, coming apart. They had to get down to the ground fast. But even then, they weren't going to stay in one piece. And there were broken bones, both from the spin and the hurried landing. But they'll be all okay. I'm pretty sure nobody saw me. Not that it didn't matter if they did. That's why I wear the costume. I've learned years ago that people knew about me. They'd have, I'd have no peace. I'd be a freak, a curiosity. A monster, even. People would go nuts when I know how I can do it, where the powers came from, and I don't even know any of that myself. But if someone sees me, what are they going to say? It was Superman, officer. He swooped out of the sky and saved me. Yeah, sure. Who's going to believe that? I've seen some stories on the internet stuff I've done. Everyone treats that as a joke. No, as long as I don't get spotted right out in broad daylight, I'm safe. I'm safe. Blue and blue remote to blue base. We have another confirmed. No workable prints, but there are finger gouges in the metal and footprints. Deep footprints, not accounted for. Yes, sir. Site secure. Collection team on route. But it bothers me a little. It used to be much and be more fun. Just knowing I could do all this, that I was spe- and special. It was my secret, my one rare truth that I knew and nobody else did. Still like it. I love the flying. I'm glad I can save lives. I'd never give it up. Something's missing. Kent, middle mark wants you in her office. Huh? Uh, ma'am? Ah, Clark, come on in. Still can't get over that. Clark Kent from Smallville, Kansas. And you're a journalist. Not really, ma'am. Hmm? I'm a writer, but I don't want to be a reporter. A- and I'm from Pickettsville. Sure, sure. Uh, did I do something wrong? Uh, no, your staff work is fine. I want to talk about this new piece you submitted. Population density is as a medium for both cultural um, ferment and societal decay. Interesting. Well observed. I marked a few spots where the prose is unclear, but I think we can buy it. And thank you. That's, you have an unusual perspective, Kent. Like you see the world from outside as a detached observer, not as a participant. Uh, thanks. Again, I try to. It wasn't wholly a compliment. Your work escapes dryness, but still it's all head, no heart. You need to get out more. Mix it up. Get involved in life. Get yourself broken. Get laid. Feel as well as <laughs> um, yeah. a- Adam Bill and Bill's at Pantheon liked your earlier piece about a gridlock as a metaphor for international diplomacy. He asked for an advance. And uh, look at this one. He'd like to talk. See if you have a book in you. Give him a call. He, a book? Hey, uh, here she is. Hey, Clark, meet Lois. Oh, Christ, not another one. <laughs> Great. You had your joke. You and you'll, and you'll pay, Lindsay. Have a hell of a night. Nice work, guys. Real mature. Oh, come on, Clark. Hey, it's me. Look, I'd like to apologize. Yeah, yeah, it's all just harmless fun, right? Listen, if you knew how many times I... No, wait, you probably do, huh? Probably. I'm not just a Clark. I'm a Clark Kent. I've been set up with 18 Loises, 7 Lanas, and a Kent Grant. Can't oh, my Grant? gosh. That's someone from Superman? Beats me. My college roommate thought it was hysterical, though, so I guess so. <laughs> Wait, I thought Cat Grant was a... Uh... No, no, no. Yeah, she is. No, she, she is in Superman, but he didn't know about her because she's a minor love interest. Oh, I thought you meant like she was an actual minor, like 15 years old or something. No, like, no, wait. no, no, minor character, minor character. I think in Young Justice, she was like a news reporter. Well, a, yeah, and well, then in Supergirl, she she's is. a... That's, that's what she usually is. She's another news reporter. Mm, so like Kat, in a Supergirl, the TV show, they gave her a much more bigger role, Yep. I guess. Sorry if I was rude. No problem. i do that myself if I had the gut. Hi, Clark Kent, but you knew that. Lois Sh- and Shadari. Look, I'm guessing you had dinner plans. Mine just fell through, too. And you don't have dinner plans. Mine just fell through, too. So if you like to, look, no offense, but what the hell? You seem nice enough. Just promise me you don't have a friend named Lex who's going to t- kidnap me and threaten the city with his death ray. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mentioned before how much I'm liking Metrop in Manhattan, especially at night. So, and, and so just let me add this. 
it's way, way better when you're sharing it with someone. She's working for an interior as an entire designer. She likes it a lot. She's from San Francisco. Went to Carleton College in Minnesota. She loves Cole Carroll books, too. She knows and TV. She even read The Queen's Comet. She wants to go around the world in a balloon someday. Her nose wrinkles up when she laughs, and she smiles. She smiles like life's a joke, and you're in on it with her. Again, I love this writing. It's so cute. It is. And again, it feels so... You never think about this with Superman, do you? Because he's doing it from a real-world perspective, and something that you wouldn't think possible, but music made it work. But yeah, and then of course, like it's been a few months now, and I can't believe how good this feels. Sometimes I just look at her, and I can't believe someone like and someone this great even likes me. Sometimes I can't remember what it felt like to not know her. The way she get and she gets out of a chair, the hitch in her breast when she's lied by something. I know when she's quiet because she's just quiet, or when she's quiet because she's thinking or worry, and she knows me too and likes what she knows. I think. But that she doesn't know all of it, does she? That's the best part, and that's the part that bothers me. I'm hiding something from her, from everyone, but especially from her. I feel like I'm lying. Hey, he's feel- getting the late part down. Yeah. <laughs> At least uh, in this one, it doesn't seem to, you know, there's that joke where... I know, you know Man of Steel, and- woman of Kleenex. Wait, what? Man of Steel, woman of Kleenex. N- no, that... If Superman were to have sex, that's, with what, Lois, that's, what, no, that's what it's called. That's what it's called. Man of Steel, Woman of Kleenex. I don't understand the Woman of Kleenex. Part. Uh, because he'd rip right through her. Oh, that's so weird to see. <laughs> I want to. That's... So that, 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 <laughs> well, that was the title of the article that first came up with that idea. Oh, okay. Because when I think Kleenex, I think cleaning. So no, I'm no, just... no, no, no. Kleenex, you know, blowing your nose, tissue. Okay. Kleenex, you know, like tissue yeah. paper. He's so like, Mrrr. yeah, I think of cleaning. <laughs> oh, I say of Kleenex, you know, the brand. Yeah, to clean, to clean your no, nose. You don't use Kleenex to clean. You no, use to clean to your, your nose. nose. Like blowing your nose to me, that's cleaning. <laughs> Whatever, but you know how thin it is. Though. You know how thin it is. Yeah. But anyway, but it's not okay anymore. And that was her. I know her so well. I love her. I think. I think she knows it. I think she knew it before I did, but I haven't said it. I can't. But yeah, so he's trying to think about what to do to tell her, and then, uh uh-oh, that doesn't look good. Big Bird is taking bait. Blue command in motion towards Natsu's shoreline. That, uh, there, that auto, uh, he gets knocked down, and wouldn't you know it, he's all put in a tube and everything. No! Brain activity, brainwave activity alerting. Good God, he's waking up! Increase sedative feed, 60%, now, now! We fry the power grid for two counties, bringing him down, and still he... Nerve responds. Cell scraping, all dead. And live cells can't be detached. Saliva, mucus, and urine. Estimated age at time of meteor strikes. Helpless Superman, helpless under the glow of red sun radiation. You'll remain my president for eternity. Eternity! Yeah, so basically he's having all these visions, and then he just busts out of there. And just fights his way through, and then, oh, a dead child, dead other people. And he fights his way out of there and just blasts the place down. Taking all the people Rightfully so. Yep, oh God, oh God. I haven't left my apartment for four days. I made an excuse at work. They got me on Friday, and I got and I got out on Monday. Hey, so I just had one day to explain. And I told and I told them my father was ill, and I'd rush back home. And I forgot to call. And I'm really sorry. And I'd be back as soon as I could. But it was the government, the United States government. Now, if I hadn't acclimated to the sedative or whatever I did, if I hadn't come out of it at night, and they noticed, what did they mean? Strongest manifestation to date. There have been 12 other, in others, media strikes. Those other people, those corpses, were they like me? Did the government kill them? Did they kill those babies? They brought me down, knocked me out cold, knocked me cold. I don't think they would have worked on Superman, but it worked on me. 
and they're still out there, still looking, still after me. I started getting back out again this past weekend. I need a laundry if nothing else. But the first thing I did was stop at a thrift shop. The glasses aren't so aren't so people I work with every damn day won't recognize me though. Here to so some guy who saw me for a few days through glass and fluid might not know if he sees me across the street. But everything's fine. Hey, who's this? We're Karklenko. I could have sworn he was here, but this man looks completely different. Enough! I have had it with the stupid sophomore garbage, Russ. It stops right now, or Kent! I need that McBidden piece by three. Yes, ma'am. Getting back to work is fine. Just fine. Like I didn't miss a day. But Adam and Bilms, he liked my book proposal. I have a contract. I found an agent. Just a few days, they say, and I'll be ready to, it'll be ready to sign. Welcome to Pantheon, Clark. Let's hope it stay, it's a good long stay. So, yeah, they're all, everyone's so happy at everything um, once the book's finished. Excuse me, I don't feel well. Going to go get some air. Clark, thanks for meeting for, and coffee, hun. You were up so late working for, on that virtual model for the Russell office. Clark, is your father okay? Hmm? Well, you seem preoccupied. Ever since your dad had that trouble, you've been distant. It was nothing, a scare. But it turned out to be a food thing. He doesn't even like us to bring it up. I'm fine, really. There have been some more stories about Superman sites on the internet. They used to be funny. Now I worry all the time. Who's reading them? Who's analyzing them for clues? Don't lie to me, Clark Kent. Huh? You're worried about something. Is it the book? It's the book, isn't it? Because you can do it. You know it. You have and have. You know it. Uh, you can have the jitters, but no writer's block. Understood? The book's fine. The book's just fine. Clark, what? Maybe this is the problem. Maybe I'm spending too much time here, not working. Maybe it's... I gotta go. I haven't written a word on the book in weeks. I can't write without wondering, will they see? Is this all the perspective of an alien? Will they find me? And she wants to help, and all I can do is lie. She doesn't know me, doesn't know who I really am. It's the elephant in the living room that nobody talks about. But I'm the one who even know, and who even knows it's there. I can't tell her. If two people know, the danger is that much worse. If she freaks, if she tells someone, it's just it's not just me. She could get hurt, too. They could go after her. It's better this way. Really, better. I don't give up flying or helping people when I can. I won't let them take that away from me, too. But that's different, too. It's, I'm more careful not to be seen. I listen for any heartbeat that shouldn't be there. Whenever those government guys are around, I peel off. If they created the situation, they can deal with it. I'm always worried, wondering if they found another way to sneak up on me. I, uh, I'm wondering how long I can outwit professionals. They've got a budget. They've got equipment support. All kinds of resources. I've just got me. <sighs> what do they want from me? What do they want? To kill me? Control me? Clone me? They have my fingerprints, retinal scans, and more I can't even imagine. I've been safe so far, but they could turn up at my door any time. I used to like having a secret. I loved it, but now I've never felt so alone. No one to talk to, to share my fears with. They took it all away. My privacy, peace of mind, my writing. I can't tell her. Telling her would expose me. Expose her. It doesn't make sense. And it's not like I haven't dated before. It's not like I told them and that was fine. They didn't and last. But then, how many relationships last? I'm pretty sure we broke up. I left a couple message, left a, and she left a couple. We haven't talked. Maybe that's better, for her own good. If she knew who I really was, what I really am, if the secret was out, if anyone knew. Clark? I saw you heard someone out here. Hey, is that a picnic basket? I love that smile. <laughs> Sorry, it was just a dumb idea. Sorry, I'll just go. Is there cake? I didn't want to lose her. I saw maybe some big apologetic gesture, and she's never been all that big on flowers. I figured if I had to lie to be with her, I'll lie. It's worth it. And then at her door, I didn't want to lie. It was all a bad idea. I knew it. You bake a mean cake, jerk boy. Thanks. But it was funny. Just being there. But yeah, she pulls him up and then unbutton my shirt. What? We're on top of my building. Sure, it's getting dark, but unbutton my shirt. Okay, but if you think you're unstabbing my jeans, Mister, then you've been at, the way you've been acting. You've got another Clark. <laughs> what? You've been freaked out about the book. Fine, but don't. Uh, and but you don't like those dumb Clark Lois gags. What's Lois? 
look down. On top of the cloister, I told her everything. The powers, the reporter, the government, everything. It's not, it's not, you're a, you are, they. <laughs> so that's why you started wearing those glasses. And after I finished, Lois, Clark, when I was 14, I was caught shoplifting. Me and two other girls. Not just lipstick and candy eyeser. It was juvenile court. The records are sealed, but still, I've always been afraid, terrified someone will find out. Guess we're both dangerous felons then. Public menaces. Well, your sacred secret is me. If now, if you care to, I know you've been here longer in, longer than I have. But real, but you should really see Manhattan the way it was meant to be seen. What? <laughs> What's next? Your fortune of solitude? Dude, well, I do know this great crap shack on the outer banks of North Carolina. Found it when I was in college. We, we couldn't. Could we? For you, Lois. Anything. And Clark, it's so, it's beautiful. Again, I just love this, isn't it? It's so cute. I'm sure I can feel it. It's right. From now, we're in this together. And we're just in the issue two. We got two more to go. Oh, it's like five? No, four. Oh, four. I can't. <laughs> we just I got can't. through two. I just can't. Uh, I don't know numbers. <laughs> oh, look what he's holding. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Come on, everyone. We've got to get there in time. I love these opening with these old-fashioned comics, don't you? Yes, I love them so much. I hate Have that a nice Supergirl outfit. In Ecuador. We'll see you soon. Love, Lois. Superman family. A decade ago, I, it'd have annoyed me. But today, something as simple as a dopey car can touch my heart. And it's nowhere near my birthday. She must have just seen and thought of me. It used to be such a pain. That whole, ha ha, yes, my name's Clark Kent. Ha ha, yes, like Superman thing. But it's different when it's not when it's not just you. When someone can make, uh, make a face and roll their eyes for you, and you know they understand... When, they're, when they share your secret, I find myself looking around a lot reass and reassessing. Lois is happy as an environmental designer. They've got her helping set up the new Toshiba building in Tokyo. And she's working in Dallas, London, Mexico City. I miss her when she travels, but I'm glad she likes the work. And me, my last two books have made the Bet Book Sense 76 list. To my surprise, the view from space, which I thought was about culture development, has become an introductory piece on system analysis. I'm speaking at the LA Book Festival next month. We seem to be doing all right. Actually building our dream house off the coast of Maine. A haven yeah. for Lois from traveling. A refugee I can dig into work undisturbed. Frankly, it's more than I ever expected. So who knows what, my, what heights we might reach next. Could even be that someday my name will be more than just an easy joke. Hey, Andy. Hey, Mr. Kent. Just figured I'd stop by. I'll be on the island for the weekend, camping out on the old boathouse. Get a little solitude, a little writing done like that. Sure, sure. We're going out and we're going well he here. Won't be more than a week before we're all closed in, and another month before she's livable. Got, and coming around quitting time, I'll show you where we're at. Of course, you wanted to use some old that uh, super strength of yours. You could have polished it off in a gym, hmm? or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> As long as we're taking stock, my utter life is getting good as well. And it should have been better here and should be even better here on McCloskey Island. Especially now that I've tunneled down through that hollow tree to the ocean. Hey, hey, who says you can't get any good ideas from comic books? Meaning just like with Superboy, he would go through a hole and everything. After yeah. that with the feds over the years, I want to be extra careful. I'm still not sure they really tracked me to Roanick, but I don't want them to have a reason to cross-reference with Maine. Still, I think I've got it covered. I only surf it in Boston Harbor, so if they look, they'll look around there first. They put motion sensors on the harbor floor a year or so back, so I loop around and approach from the south. There's been an increase in Oce oceanographic research vessels around Cape Cod, but no increase in Woods in Woods Hole budget, and no increase in data on the area. They're fishing for me. Let them, as long as they're fishing in the wrong waters. I've helped in 70 fires, over 200 airplanes and car crashes, two earthquakes, and an avalanche since we moved. Lately, though, I've been working on a thing in Africa. 
The Red Cross brings in desperately needed medical supplies in Hare. The government confiscated them and sells them on the international black market. I break into their warehouse and bring the supplies where they'll do the most good. The government rails about thieves and vandals, but they know it's, a, it's something more. And whenever they send soldiers to reclaim the supplies, I use my heat vision to fuse all their ammo from orbit. The soldiers are starting to say the hills don't want them there. <laughs> the feds figured out it's me early on, and they're still trying to trap me. You figure they'd want to say thanks, but no. Scanning for, we have a, we have bogey, unidentified objects, sector 4E, size and motion scales, commencing, approach. The other night, it was fighter jets out of Diego Garcia. I heard them coming 200 miles away. Holy freaking Pete with a crowbar. Did I just see what I think I saw? Easy, Baldwin. Orders are minimal chatter. You know you know that? Don't know who's listening. But you know, it's no fun when they give up too soon. They already know I exist. So as long as I don't lead them home, I figured, what's the harm? And I like to string them along a, a while every time they try a new plan. Keep them from getting on that, onto one that might work. So I let them chase me for a while. Let them think they might actually have me. We have a target lock. We have a target lock. Fire, fire, fire before it. We have lost target lock. Repeat and, and target lock and lost. Scanning for bogey. I lead them almost to Madagascar before I ditch for space so fast that their instruments would see me just as, van as just vanishing. I've been doing this for years now. There's been enough report sightings that there are internet group news groups about me, but most people take it as serious as Elvis and, best and sightings. The government's persistent, but they're not letting on I exist. And I'm careful. I keep an eye over my shoulder and keep anyone from sneaking up on me. I can handle them. The Did he really up. get a Superman outfit that fitted his adult body? <laughs> uh, people make it for all ages and shapes. I know. But the de the fact that he had to continue buying it whenever, t whenever he grew bigger <laughs> is funny True, to me. Or he could have learned to sew. All right, there you are could. flowers, right? Tell me you got flowers. So, did, did you really just wait for me? I picked up your flight over Alberta, shadowed it in, and tracked you all the way to the ferry. But you said not to meet you. You wanted to see it fresh. Uh, uh, Clark Kent. Sometimes I still can't get over the fact that I married a man named Clark Kent. I think my parents were more weirded out by that than you not being Indian. I knew I she was Indian. Oh, I was like, I wanted to ask, and I'm like, I knew, I didn't want to say because I knew we'd get to this point. <laughs> Mine just thought it was funny. Yeah, that's them. So, how'd you like the card? You haven't said anything about it yet. The card? It was funny. I liked it. What? Why are you looking like that? I don't believe it. Two-time National Book Award finalist, been to the Today Show four times, and he still doesn't get it. Well, it was a birthday card of the Superman family. We'll see you soon. Birthday. We, Superman family. Uh huh? You, you mean? <laughs> I'm Isn't that great? Uh, wait, I don't. No, no, he's excited. It. She's pregnant. She just oh, told me. Oh, congratulations. So, uh, Mark, <laughs> not over the boat. I'm cooking steaks here. You'll drown the hibbit and uh, hibachi. Or, or, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, hibachi. Yep. Whenever I'm really happy, whenever I got something to celebrate, I want to get away out somewhere big and empty. My mom says because I'm a private person. Abby Sanders, my editor, says it's because I'm basically antisocial. Who knows? They may have a point. Lois <laughs> said it so I can let go without worrying about anyone seeing me. But I've been like that since before I knew I had any powers. I just feel hemmed in by buildings and people. Like there's not enough room to let it all out. So, uh, are you done, sir? I done, sir? Your towel? Tell me again. What? Tell me again. Okay, okay. My period was late in Tokyo, so I got a test kit, and it was blue. I went to the hospital, and they confirmed it. I saw the card the next day, so I sent it. What? How about Henry as if it's a boy? Henry? Henry Kent. Sure, Henry Kent. Good, solid name, American name. Strong name. Nobody makes fun of, a, of the name Henry. What about and the lip? After your dad? How about a middle name? Henry DeLip Kent. I like the sound of it. I'll eat your steak. It'll probably be a girl anyway. For a while, I... I <laughs> but, yeah, and then... Hold on. Clark, we've talked this out when we tried it. It's a risk we'll take. I know, I know, I know. But we'll tell the doctors we're just really nervous. We want all the tests. Don't want to take any chances. 
and you're a consultant, I'm a freelancer. Or we've got to talk about thing about finances. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't have built the house. Clark, the house is great and we're doing fine. We have IRAs we, and we'll start a college account. You're worrying too much. I'm going to be a dad. I think I'm supposed to worry too much. So yeah. You have I, the right to. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've got, I got, I put together fake ID and got a blood test in Norway. I, sw- I sweated through the one for the marriage license, but it was okay. Still, I wanted to be sure. It's funny. I can't be burned. I can punch through steel, but I can have blood drawn or get a haircut. I've started scurrying the internet again, UFO sites and more, looking for any activity around where I was born, looking for some clue where I came from, how I got like this. Not for me. I'm fine how I am. But for him or her, what if we need to know? We did all the right things. So, yeah. Twi- twins? Twins? What? <laughs> I, get, I, I don't get it. I'm happy, mind you, but I don't get it. You've always been delib- in deliberate working at your own pace, not wanting a lot of side business, a lot of distractions. Now you take the last three article offers that come in. You say I can negotiate with NBC about an on-call consulting gig. As your agent, I'm delirious, Clark. But if there's something wrong, maybe I'm just growing up, Dean. Things change. Priorities change. And well, Lois and I, yes! If there's one thing I love more than a client with a mortgage, it's a client with kids. First thing we do, we start talking to Pantheon about a multi-book deal. They'll be all over that. I don't know if it was possible to even be more in love. I think about them, the twins, growing, developing, fragile and unprepared. I wonder what kind of father I'll be. You better not be using X-ray vision on our kids. What? I wouldn't. You couldn't think that I'd. But I still feel like there's something. The go- I mean, the government. What if I get captured? What if they learn? All right, I can take care of myself. But what if they learn I have kids? What if they come after them? They caught me once. I wasn't prepared, and I've been more careful since. But they caught me once. Maybe they'll think of something I'm not ready for. That place where they held me, where they were studying me, the bodies there. There were babies. Clark, I can still, I, how can I bring children into this world? It, basically the usual thing, but with a, you understand why, because after what happened, can you blame him? Yeah, definitely. I could stop. If they don't have anything to look for, they'll, not, they'll find nothing. No, no, you can't do that. But Clark, this is part of who you are. It's what you've chosen to do with your skills. If you stop then heard, and then heard about disasters, knew you could have helped, I don't think you'd be happy like that. I don't think you'd and be, you like being that person. Okay, I know that too, I guess. But it's one thing to risk myself and you. They wouldn't cut you up, wouldn't run tests on you, I hope. But our children, this can't be a game anymore. Even if I think I'll keep winning, and w- I'm winning the stakes are too high. I have to do something. I have to get the government off my back. I knew what I was waiting for, and within a few weeks it came. Panic reports coming from the Hoover Dam. Major radio noises from a dozen government agencies. FEMA, FBI, Interior, more and, and more. A massive earthquake in progress, going to crack the dam like an eggshell. No warning, no time for evacuation. It was an obvious fake. I don't know how they projected the, the wave harmonic that felt like a real earthquake, but they doubt it was safe. Still, they tried this sort of thing before on a smaller scale. I never went for it. This time I did. Whip, 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 whip. They ne- I've never let myself get surrounded before. I could have run, maybe, but I didn't want to. They came from all sides. Their way, and there was too much. I couldn't keep it straight. And they've improved on that electrical weapon, whatever it was that brought me down years ago. I don't remember hurting like that. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. He's real. Keep it together, squad. He may be down, but he's still dangerous. Threat level alpha. Hair triggers. Got him. We got him. We got him. Um, but I knew it was something coming, and I think that's what kept me conscious. And I took out every camera, microphone, radio, and recording devices. I saw, I saw, even the satellite they brought into position. Still, I had cotton in my cheeks, foam in my, forms in my nose, oh, tinted contacts. I've changed the shape of an angle of my ears. What on earth? No recording. No data. Not tonight. You're, you're agent in charge, right? Malloy, I heard them call you. I'm here to talk. Here to? I don't think you're much of a position to make a cho- be making a choices, friend. You're under. Save it. You think I was fooled? Your phony transmission here on the wrong wavelength, so the news wouldn't get them. 
Plus, they were and they were all broadcast from the same place. And your people won't be winning any Oscars. I let this happen. So, what did you want to talk about? A deal. You stop all this nonsense. Stop chasing me, and I'll help you out from time to time. No assassinations, no coups, no politics. But face it, you could use someone like me in emergencies. Sorry. Get off my back, and you've got me. It's something to think about. Uh, anyway, anyway, but I'm, I'm curious. Why the offer? Why now? I flinched. He was sharp, and I hadn't expected it. I'd given them a clue, maybe. Maybe put Lois and the kids in danger. I flinched, and... Sarge, he's running! Hey, running! Fire! Fire! No, wait! You don't need to! I ran. This wasn't going to work. Not first try. But they moved even more firepower in while I'd been talking to Mallory. And that electrical weapon. I thought it was going to be torn apart. Basically, yeah, he's going through a lot of pain, but he makes his way out of there. All right, all right. And just up and uh, on. Relax, man. We came this close. We know more about him, and we'll get him next time. I, I heard every word. We won't quit on this. Not until that thing is in a cage. Not until we know. I know who, I mean, who he is and what he does from the inside out. At least, at least you tried, trying, Clark. They're too stupid to see a good plan when it's laid out in front of them. That's their problem. So, aw, isn't that sweet? Aw. I'm not going to leave it. She has the nose. (laughs) Yep, yep. I'm not going to leave it at this. I can't leave it at this. I have to try again. Make them hear me. Make them think. Evening, sir. Middle of the night is more like it. Why they can't conduct business on a same schedule, I'll never. First a note to ancient Mallory. Um, I figured the CIA director's office should be pretty secure. Not a place they want strangers wandering in unannounced. So that's where I'll start on Monday. Helen? Helen, what is this? Sir? (laughs) The little figure. (laughs) Tuesday? It's the Navy's turn. I don't know how they'll react to find the nuclear missiles from a carrier in the Pacific swap with the missiles on a carrier in the Atlantic, but I imagine it'll cause quite a sir. Sir? Sir? I don't know. Don't know how. Get me in sin pack now. I'd swap guns for butter if I saw they'd get the reference. But that might have been overstatement. But I'd mm-hmm. alter our defense capabilities. And, and But it altered our defense capabilities. And I didn't want to do that. Since it's an election year, that's, that's a place to make my presence known, too. That's for Wednesday. Light side of the campaign. The president's speech in Detroit was delayed half an hour today due to an on malfunction in the communication satellite, which instead of transmission of live speech to the um, broadcast, instead a series of old Superman cartoons. The error reversed itself and the speech went on. But opposition spokesmen are joking about. And Thursday is the two coup de grace at a presidential security briefing. Huh? What? Hey, I remember this one. What? Wait, what? They replace all the documents with comic books. Friday is for the pressure to build and for Malley to figure out the latitude and longitude on my note memes. Nice. No cameras, no troops ready to attack. Not this time. Not here. You got most of Washington in uproar. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Just making a point. Proving you can penetrate security. Proving how dangerous you are. Proving how dangerous I'm not, Malloy. Malloy. Everything I did, when did it hurt? And how long have you been chasing me? In all that time, how much damage have I done to you? To anyone? But, but I might. That's what you're scared of. What I could do. But why would I? Why did I do all that this week? For fun? You're scared of me. And you want to handle. You're scared of what I could do if I was an enemy. And what, and, and want to plan for that contingency. But I'm not an enemy. Never been, and I never will be, I'll never be one. Unless you make me one. Leave me alone, and I'm no threat. Threat to me, and you and you push me into becoming what you fear. I know it goes against the grain to back off. You want control. How, it's how you think, how the, you deal with the world. All I do is save lives. You really want to change that? All right, I'll, talk, I'll take your offer to my superiors. How do we reach you? A classified ad in the Albuquerque Sun-Times. Run something there, I'll contact you. That's not good enough. Not fast enough. If we need you for an emergency, maybe later, when I have reason to trust you more. For now, we do it my way. All right. It's a start, at least. My way. (laughs) Yep. At the Sun Times every day, at a variety of international newsstands in Western Canada, Mello and I talk every now and then. With the twins coming, I'm making it more of an effort to find out more about myself. 
not just reports on the internet, tracking down stories of pro and proteges, inexplicable events. I say I'm writing a book on the extraordinary and, unex and the unexplained. It's a risk, but I can't just cross my fingers and hope. And I keep up with my rescues and the government stays off my back. Well, mostly. They did plant compact sensors around at the avalanche site in Montana. I heard the whir over the sound of the snow and burned them out with the heat vision and approach. I returned them to Malloy. They've been pretty good ever since. What do you I know. So, yep. Um, he just thinks about what to do with his next book, and he finally feels like life is starting to get fine. But then it's time for the twins to be born. Uh, uh, Malloy, we agreed on an ultrasonic signal if they need me in an emergency. It just went off. Of course they pick now. I won't go. Not tonight, Clark. I know you want to be here. I love if you were, but this, this is what I said I'd do. To safeguard you and them. This is the price. The compromise. I know, I know. Hurry back. And uh, the engineer, uh, I, uh, so I wait until the signal is aimed at Cape Town, South Africa. Let them wander. I put a good. I, I had a pretty good idea what this was about, even before I reached there and the rendezvous. It had to be all Mac Dawn. The engineers, the engineers. Awful convenient timing, isn't it? I don't make policy, Mister. I carried it out, but I don't like what you're insinuating. Those men are American citizens. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get. That, why I wanted to get them out a week ago when I, you told me not to do it. It was too much of a tinderbox. Whatever. How are we doing it? So basically, he flies in there and helps them out while. Um, yeah, Lois is in labor, um, and eventually, yeah, gets them out of there. Puts up a bit of a fight, and yeah, it saves them. They get out of there. Good action, and there he is, and with his um, with the and with his twin girls. Duh. And I want. I'm make, a twin. <laughs> you know, first, we won't name you. I name you. Oh, I, we won't name you Lana, Lori, or Car, anything remotely like that. And second, your mom and I will protect you and keep you safe, whatever it takes. So one more issue to go. Uh-huh, that's so cute. Will we find out the names in this issue? Yep. Yay. <laughs> hey, look, it looks like Bruce Tim. <laughs> um, see, it plays Alude's long sin and his eyes light up. He's, and we saw it and just had to get it for you. Plus, you know, the beard. We thought you appreciate a reminder of your own mortality. It's great, girls. Just great. Every year since they got old enough to figure out that being named Clark Kent doesn't mean I and doesn't mean I like Superman gag gifts. They've been merciless. <laughs> uh, hold on, Mr. Kent. I just wanted to mention we studied your book outside looking around in sociology in college. It was brilliant. The insights, brilliant. Thanks, Howard. Nice of you to say. Carol's latest, Howard, is something of a suck-up, but at least he's a big improvement over the last few. So Carol and Jane, and Jane's heading out early on Christmas Day to spend some time in Boston with Mike's family. They're good together. I've never seen her happier. Okay, girls, I'm making eggnog. Somebody better help, or you know what'll happen. I'll do it. Helpless with eggnog, Howard. It's a blender thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he heads on out there. It was cold outside. Not too cold, just a nice bite in the air, and I could smell a storm coming. So, yeah, he flies on out there and just stays up there in the sun. Peace on earth, good word towards men for the moment. I brought you some eggnog. Jane pronounced it almost drinkable. Thanks. How is it out there? Quiet. Good. You're not getting any younger, you know. No, no, I guess I'm not. It was only a couple of weeks ago I couldn't kid myself about it anymore. It was a fire in Minneapolis. Two dead by the time I heard about it. Five others trapped. It was why, and while I was getting the fifth out, I thought I'd scan the area. I thought it was clear. Superman, you're not, you can't, ain't no such. Huh? It was, I was gone in a heartbeat. Fast enough for her to doubt her senses, maybe. But that's not the point. I should have just known she was there, heard her. My senses were fading. I couldn't concentrate, bring them back to normal. But I had to concentrate. That was new. And my strengths... There in, I know, yeah, yeah, five years ago I could have juggled ten of those. Today, I felt a strain with that, with just one. I'm only 57. I should have years yet. You do, Clark. You're strong, healthy, smart, everything you could want at age. With superpowers, how long do superpowers last? How long do superpowers last? I'd expect it to be my whole life, however long that was. 
but I don't know, uh, do I? There's no chart, no rule book. Just a guy from named Ken from Kansas with Superman's powers. In the comics, Superman gets charged up by the radiation of a yellow sun. So I tried recharging. Got as close as I dared. I got one hell of a winter tan. People asked for weeks if I had been to Bermuda for New Year's. But no recharge. I'm weaker. Slower. My senses aren't what they were. Oh, I can still see to Jupiter if I push it. But I'm, ready for, I'm not ready for the old hero's home just yet. But I'm fading. I find myself watching sunsets a lot and my scrapbooks. One of the years I spent making them, I never looked back through them. I did them because Lois liked them. Now I look. All the years, triumphs, milestones, good reviews, write-ups in conspiracy magazines. Funny though, it's not the exploits, the live save, the disaster stop that catch my eyes. I thought it would be. It's birthday pictures. The girls' high school graduation, Carol's postcards from backpacking in, in Europe, the article is listing Lois as one of the three finest minds in modern workspace theory and design magazine. Pieces of life. The pollster did and dinner with Joel and Bill. Bill tried to be modest, but you could tell he was so proud and he earned it. Lois taking a Sharon McCain as an assistant and taking on Sharon McCain as an assistant and then as a partner. Now they got four offices worldwide, almost 60 employees. Pieces of life. They'll be adding a wedding album to that stack one of these days, I'll bet. You coming for dinner? Sure, just let me clean up. Wait, ultrasonic signal. It's Malloy. Possibly a chemical weapon through the bowling path. How serious of a threat is it? We don't really know. We're just keeping a weather eye out for trouble from that area, at least. He was getting older, too. He'd been part of my life even longer than the girls. I knew his uh, moods, his mannerisms, like an old friend. Now, the underground in Kenya, every now and then, I felt like, uh, like making a comment on the gray in his hair. Or getting him a bottle of scotch on his birthday. Fresh in your club, in your, your club soda? But I remember how hard they tried to capture me. The one time they did capture me, the bodies in the facility. And I keep my distance and use the inserts that change my face a little. No thanks. And by the way, I burn the oils off the gla in the glass with my heat fisher. No fingerprints. Burned out the scanners in the truck's wall. Sorry about that. New blood at home and home office. What are you gonna do? We're, and we're about done, I think. I, I I note you didn't call me and call me in Lubbock. No, but we handled it. Take care. He'd implied a few times that they didn't need me as often. That maybe they had more easily controlled agents, and maybe they did. I intervened in a firefight with a terrorist cell in Kuwait. Got them captured without loss of life. Funny thing was, the terrorist ammo had all been rendered chemically inert. The military's hadn't. It could only it, it could only have been done with superpowers, and it struck me as very American, very military thinking. I don't have any hard evidence, but I can believe Malloy's probably finally got what they wanted. I'm not sure if I could be relieved or concerned. The world's changing. I used to feel so alone, so isolated, I'm, I'm like an alien on my own home planet. I have a good life, friends, family, but still. As he continued on thinking, um. But yeah, he's just go, you know, keep an eye on all that stuff. Um, hold on, here it is. I copied it as and as, as all as I could. Meteor strikes around the world in 1988. Several in Kansas. Unknown uh, unknown chemical compounds and radiations released into the water to, and table tests. Cover ups. It was 13. Oh, Clark, is that is that what happened to me? It changed me somehow. It, I gave myself powers, shaped them subconsciously. It would explain a lot, but I don't know. No way to tell without testing, and I'm not about to let them test me or even know my name. Don't even think about it, Clark. Still, yeah, it'd be nice to know. I don't really care on my own account. I've accepted who I am, and it doesn't matter to me how I got there. But see, we finally got an explanation. He it meteors. did it himself? The meteors. Oh. Meteor. Wait, did and, no, it was the meteors, unknown um, chemicals. And then through subconsciousness, he gave himself the Superman powers because of them. What? When was the meteor? Uh, probably during one of his nights out sleeping in the um, sleeping in the stars. Okay, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm like, you wouldn't hear a meteor. <laughs> oh, no, no. Well, it could have happened, or it could have. It also said it was in the water too. Mm. Yeah, it, we just see bits of them when they were growing up and everything. Aww. But then during one, like, I have to talk to Lois. I have to get this down, get my thoughts in order. Then I have to talk to Lois. 
it was a freak tornado near why I basically to explain all this like that sound it was a whirling inside the funnel a loud hum and there were shapes inside specks that weren't moving with the tornado I concentrated try to cut through the mark and the murk and the chaos and the wind try to see and hear better even as I did the whirring changed in pitch building higher and higher and it's gone and then he sees two streaks Ooh. what I said, I know what you I, you said. I just, are you sure? No, but those weren't Malloy's agents. If he has agents, the U.S. wouldn't intervene in an Australian tornado. I think it was them. I think it was Jane and Carol. I think they're like me, super powered. I'll call Carol. She'll be home by, wait, don't. I didn't know what that felt like. But Clark, it's their lives, Lois. If they're adults, and if they do have powers, they've chosen that to tell us. Aren't we supposed to respect that? Are we? If your parents had known, this isn't what I'd, I'd choose. But if it was, for a long time now, my powers, my secret, they've been, they're private. They're me, all wrapped up with what I am inside. They, and they're all people I've left in, people I keep out. But I was always up to me, my choice. This, it just feels like it should be up to them. Yeah, of course, they're being like parents. Yeah, but they come on the visit. Don't let it on about anything. Um, we didn't, I know, I, they're, they always like reading drafts of my book. Yeah, chit chat, head on out. And um, yeah, they raised them very well. Things to be going on. Like we told each other they could decide whatever they decide. We'd be content with that. Either said than done, of course. <laughs> Ro Roman regenerates finger, Doc's baffled. I wish I could, I know. Just reading all this weird stuff. And then there was a train accident. Flies on over, catches it, and then they finally make themselves known. Well, man, you've got to show me how you do that. Balancing that many cars at that speed? Carol, is that really the first thing you want to talk about? It was Australia, right, Dad? You figured it out in Australia. I saw it, maybe. But look, and but look, I want to hear everything. But your mom's going to want to hear it, too. Come on, let's go home. Again, look at this artwork! Horsies! Oh, it's so cute. Maybe it would have been... I don't like the pants. <laughs> right. It would have been the same if we'd con confronted them, pushed them to share, rather than letting them choose to. Maybe. I don't think so, though. Their powers showed up when they were teens, like me. They'd been scared we'd think they were freaks. Send them away. But they would eat had each other to talk to. And they'd been careful. They knew the government was interested. Nobody tried to capture them, though. Instead, they'd gotten word that there were people who'd like to negotiate. To negotiate. And in the days since, sometimes they join me. Sometimes they get there first, and I just watch, and I'm quietly and quietly proud. And sometimes, I don't know how you stand, you stand it, Lois. It was a nuclear submarine. The seals were cracked. If they miscalculated, I'm used to it, hon. I've been staying home and waiting for a word for a while now. Surprising news today. I suppose I should have seen it coming, but I hadn't thought about it. You're what? I'm 65 next week. Retirement age. They've let me, and they've let me know I could stay on. But frankly, who needs it? I've earned my rest. Oh, well, it's been a pleasure. No, it hasn't. You never wanted to do this, and only did it to get us off your back. And we lied to you and used you at times, and you hated me. Hard to blame you, but trust me at, uh, on this. At least things have changed. We're not scared of you anymore, and we don't need you so badly. Things have changed, Clark. You can feel safe. Clark? <laughs> you weren't as careful as you thought. Slip here, mistake there. I am good at what I do, you know. But we have wide latitude with our context. I never wrote much down about you, and what I did has been, has been destroyed. There's no trail. Nobody will be contacting you. Nobody will be succeeding me, succeeding me as your handler. You're retired, too, from this, at least. But why? I have children, too, Clark. Sons. <laughs> Clark Kent. List of that is cleared and everyone, everything about and, ta and everything. Talk about hiding in plain sight. Anyway, there's no metal in it, but your nation thanks you. And that lab, what you went through, I want you to know that was before my time. If I'd been there, well, I guess they'd have been different, but I'd like to see, think I'd have tried. I've enjoyed your books over the years. Nice to be able to finally say, and to say that finally. Be well. Thanks, I, thanks. Maybe I will get him that bottle of scotch after all. I love that, <laughs> don't you? Isn't that just... After everything, this just feels like a good cleaning up of that plot thread, right? 
Yeah, I love it. And then time goes past. They're getting older. Uh, Carol's between boyfriends. Mike's stuck in Boston, but will join Jane tomorrow. So Carol today would just jumps around to different boyfriends. Wow. Up, um, he heads on out there. Looks at the little super rat thing. Better put you at eye level, old fella. What with the beard and all. Who can, and you can remind me of my mortality. Oh, stop. <laughs> you're happy and you know it. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap Some time hands. has passed since. Um, yeah, he's much older now. We're seeing a bit of the future. Superhumans operating openly. Whole government agency, private couriers, more. The advancement they made possible in science and medicine and technology. I'm amazed by, I'm so amazed by the sky cars. Dad, but as amazements go, they pale next to the ones that count. Grandpa, Clark, Jimmy. Jimmy, I wish, really? I wish the kid's <laughs> family sense of humor didn't breed so true, though. Oh. So Carol wrote, she was seeing a Mr. Swift. Yeah, the ex-government guy, the speedster with the TV ad. I give it two weeks. So how's the book? Done, turned in, and it's your last? Might be, might be, but your mom and I, we're doing a lot more traveling. Can't men do next month. He sees things and things. He gets ideas. He'll never retire. Still, if it's my last, it's a fitting finale. Mother Earth's other children. The birth of superhumanity. All the research I did for myself. All that stuff I couldn't use for all those years. Well, almost all of it. I'm not in it. Neither are the girls. I find even the new era that I still like my privacy. I still fly sometimes. I join the girls on occasion. And Perry, Jane's oldest. Ah, Perry! <laughs> we I don't get that one. one. What? Perry White. So we have Perry, Jimmy, and and um and Clark. Who's Perry? Perry White. The platypus? Oh my no, god. Perry White, <laughs> the, the editor. Nope. Don't know who that is. <laughs> anyway, I'm a lot slower than I used to be, and I wear an insulated costume. It gets cold up there, and I'm not as hardy as I once was, but it's still fun. I fly and bask in the sun, and I drift, and I remember. I remember a scared kid trying to figure out who he was, who he wanted to be in life. I remember finding the courage to risk, to share, to reach out. I remember making compromises, doing what was necessary to protect my own, to see them safe and warm. And I finally remember when they took flight, when they didn't need me anymore. I remember the twinge of sadness, but I remember the love and pride more. And now... I find myself watching a lot of sunsets. The world's changing. The world always changes. It changes around us. It changes us. We can't stop it. And sunsets are beautiful, stately and graceful. A slow, majestic inevitability. Beautiful. And they're, and they're endings. There's no getting around from that. They're endings, all right. I've had a good life. Different from most, but not all that different. Maybe I had a secret identity. But then when you think about it, don't we all? A part of ourselves very few people ever get to see. The part we think of as me, the part that deals with the big stuff, makes the real choices. The part everything else is a reflection of. Mine was just a little louder than most. Camp Mendu, Belize, Lois has been talking about Antarctica next. And Perry's graduation and Carol's business troubles. She should really go out on her own. My, uh, her mom could tell her. And that's the thing about sunsets. They're majestic, stately, lovely and inevitable and then a little ways to the east it always it all starts all over again who knows maybe there's a book in it <laughs> what did you think oh that was so heartwarming you see why it's considered one of the best superman stories yes even though you're the only person i've heard talk about it <laughs> yeah, probably but you probably and how many and hardcore superman fans do you know that's true. <laughs> uh, what would you say you like best about it? I guess it's like, it's a different perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, the way he does things differently than Clark does, but he's still not a bad person. Like he still has a, still has the uh, self he has morals. A, a bit, well, yeah, he has the morals. But doesn't this fit perfectly with the real world? I mean, until the end where we have superpower beings all over the place, but still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I especially like, um, like it's a Superman was born on Krypton, right? And just yep. worked on the farm and all this stuff. But, but he there was wasn't like, a Superman beforehand. There wasn't comic books beforehand. 
Yeah, it is. I'm um, talking about physique. Uh, like you, like right. Jesus usually has a huge like upper body, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. But for this one, he seems to have like a normal body. So yeah. like, and he doesn't wear suits and all that stuff. He just wears really nice shirts. By the way, <laughs> exactly. I love his fashion sense in this book. <laughs> what did you think about Lois? Oh, Lois was fantastic. She's but she's very different. A yeah. very different Lois. She's not Lois Lane. She's not even trying to be Lois Lane. She just happens to be his love interest named Lois. Raymond would love this Lois. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd love, I love a different version. And I think there's something else. Something I'm, I plan on talking, maybe talking with him tomorrow, maybe not. And there's one girl I think he would love more than Lois. <gasps> Who the heck is that? Her name's um, Lila. Oh, it's from this story. She, she looks like a Lila. <laughs> but that's for another day. But um, but but when, in the artwork, beautiful. Do you see why the else people consider Eminem one of the definitive artists? Yes, even though I've never heard of him in my life. You never heard of Stuart Eminem? Of course not. <laughs> yeah, I'm still can- learning. Yeah, but again, the fact that this captured the spirit of Superman, but was still, and it made it show that a Superman could fit in the real world. And just the idea, and I, the fact is summed up right at the end saying, we all have secret identities. Mine's just louder. <laughs> but I did feel like I liked Malloy. You know what I mean? He felt like a guy who was actually reasonable. But at the same, and even at the end, he felt like, I can't say it would have been different, but I'd like to think I would have tried. Yeah. We all have those regrets. Exactly. I'm good. And again, you don't blame Clark for the way things played out, but it's like, again, his life. Yeah. No regrets whatsoever. And he lived it to the fullest. And the fact and that's that what being, I loved, you know? being Superman was not the dominant part of the story. Exactly. It was Clark who was the main focus as he should be. And I think that's what I love best about this. He was Clark first. Definitely Clark first. And uh, it's basically Clark having the powers of Superman and living his life through it, as opposed to Superman, Clark Kent being Superman. I had to think about that. <laughs> but, yeah, you get what I'm saying, though, right? Yeah. I'll tell you this, though. On the next one, it's very different Yay. for Batman. Because this one gets a bit more mystical. And it's also one of the last works by John Paul Leon. John Paul Leon? The guy who passed away recently when he was and he was doing that um, Batman Catwoman special. Oh, no. Ring any bells? No. Well, we'll get over that next time. <laughs> so, this is a strong recommendation. Do you want to buy your own copy of this? Because they're relatively cheap. Yes, I mean, this was 1995. I'm pretty sure you can oh. get that much cheaper elsewhere. Amazon. Exactly. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. I mean, and you should go. I know I've read through a lot of it throughout all this, but I was I skipped over a bunch, too. <laughs> so, That's yeah, fine. we'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Yep. Take care. <laughs>